Welcome back. It's 5.30, and a second guidance counselor at Ron Colley is now losing her job. Lynn Starkey claims it's because she's married to another woman. Unlike Shelley Fitzgerald, Lynn Starkey continued to work at the school, but now she's learned that her contract is not going to be renewed for next school year. But as our Mary Mills learns today, she's not giving up. In fact, her battle is just beginning. She's worked at Roncalli High School for 39 years, even earned a Teacher of the Year award. But Lynn Starkey won't be back next year. Her attorney, Kathleen Delaney, says Starkey's contract is not being renewed. Because she's in a same-sex marriage. And because, and because she filed a discrimination complaint in November of 2018. A complaint with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. It alleges discrimination and a hostile work environment and now retaliation, the loss of her job. The Archdiocese says Starkey is in breach of her contract because she's, quote, in a civil union that is considered contrary to a valid marriage as seen through the eyes of the Catholic Church. It comes seven months after students and parents rallied on behalf of fellow guidance counselor Shelley Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald was placed on paid leave in August and banned from the campus because she, too, is married to a woman. Delaney wants to know why other church teachings aren't being addressed. They're not asking teachers every t year when they sign up, did you use birth control last year? Did you get divorced this year? The upset over Fitzgerald led Sean Aldrich to create the Facebook page, Time to Be a Rebel. Lynn was there all the way back when my wife and I were there. They do it because they love to help the kids. To simply pass them away is, is, is shameful. Delaney says regardless of what happens with the EEOC complaint, this battle will likely wind up in the courts. She says though it's a church school, Ron Colley is also one of the state's top recipients of voucher money. So at the same time, they're taking in millions of dollars of voucher money every year. They're violating federal law by discriminating against their employees on the basis of sexual orientation and marital status. Delaney says they will let the EEOC process play out before turning to the courts. Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Lynn Starkey declined to comment today, but her attorney says that Lynn is committed to helping her students finish out the school year. While a spokesperson for the Archdiocese did share a statement today, he too declined an on-camera interview. In a lawsuit filed at the beginning of this month, Fitzgerald claimed that the Archdiocese retaliated against her father. Her attorney said her father was banned from senior retreats after attending protests that were in support of his daughter. After learning of the lawsuit, the Archdiocese released this statement saying in part, Quote, due to the continuing attention surrounding his daughter's suspension as a Ron Colley guidance counselor after she violated her employment contract and his own participation in public protests over Catholic Church teachings, Mr. Fitzgerald was told that he would not be asked to work at this year's retreat. and went on to say that Patrick Fitzgerald would be welcome at the school's public events and thanked him for his years of service.